work our way in. Let's break down yeah, the integrity of the method we can. And then see if we can. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get closer to our left? So she's on, see this nail right here? There's something that you can see, hold on, pull this away. That's stuck and then she pulled up on it. Up on it. So okay. she's got, so she's got to go down. Nice and easy. Yeah, watch your eyes. There we go, hold up, hold, keep her leg down. Keep her leg down. Okay. <laughs> Baby. All right, little girl. Yeah. And then think about tetanus and yeah, of course. Um, I just want to see if it got in there. There it is. That nail was No, I don't think much was crushed. I think it was more. She was just, just caught on it. She was caught. Yeah. Woo! We tried, but we pulled it Good job. This is Mark Scott. M A R K S C O T T. Um, Got called. I'm with Petaluma Animal Services. Uh, we got called out about an hour ago for a dog that had got itself uh, stuck and wedged in between the concrete of the house and the sidewalk. It's about a three inch gap, but it was able to get its right paw all the way down to the elbow. Um, and when the dog tried to pull itself free, there was a piece of rebar or some type of metal that was wedged into the right arm, so it wouldn't let it come, come loose. Uh, so we had to call fire department to come out and assist and they showed up right away, broke up the concrete, um, we were able to get the dog free and uh, it's a very happy family right now. Alright, um, do you know how the dog happened to get itself wedged in there? Uh, the, the homeowner says that the dog's been chasing mice and may have got itself in there and <laughs> tried to reach for it and a little out of its range. And uh, do you know approximately how long the doggy was in this uh, precarious situation before he was freed? Reports say at least an hour and a half. All right, and what kind of dog is it? It's a fox terrier, a female fox terrier named Lily. Named Lily, and uh, what can you tell us about uh, the whole situation? How's the family feeling? Family is pretty excited and shocked, and they're just very happy that Pet Lumber Fire was on scene to help out. So thanks to them, huge thanks. Any injuries to the animal? No, I think it's going to be fine. A little shock, a little swelling, but it should be fine. I advise the homeowner to go get the vet, check it out, but. I think it should be okay.